Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute Live. I'm Steve Toby, and Christ has ascended from earth to heaven. Amen. Amen. Well, today is the 26th of May, and it is, uh, let me see, the feast day of uh, Carpus and Alphaeus, and they were uh, um, apostles of the 70. They were apostles of the 70. And the Troparian for them, Holy Apostles Carpus and Alphaeus, entreat the merciful God to grant our souls forgiveness of transgressions. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let me see here. Let's go to Jonathan and see if how he's doing. Oh, well, Jonathan's, hey, hey. Not, Jonathan's not doing really well this evening with his computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he has one of those Linux. Uh, systems that you can't trust them. And it's not like that good tried and true. Come on, Steve, wisdom, you know Linux rocks. It's not, it's not the Linux. It's me. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, oh Lord, 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 have mercy on him, Lord, have mercy. Okay, so outside of your uh, computer problems, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm. Um, I've got some stuff going on. It's going to be a great weekend, so I'm I'm happy about that. Memorial what, Day is going to be a good one for me. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to be barbecuing ribs. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, fun stuff. That's on my no-no list. <laughs> Barbecued ribs. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do any special anything special at church? Uh, no, actually, I, I already did that. Uh, my one of, one of the head priests asked me to fix his computer, and I did. Oh, so, my God. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah. Heal that computer, Lord. Heal that computer. Yeah. It needed it, too. Yeah. And uh, so we. I always pray before I operate on a computer. So yeah. that worked pretty well. And uh, then... Um, we're just getting ready for uh, for the rest of, uh, for I guess it would be uh, Pentecost, right? Yeah, Pentecost next, Sunday. next Sunday, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. All righty, so my friend, um, well, Unless we have for... graduated from the book of Acts and the uh, Gospel of John. Tonight we're in mm -hmm. Second Corinthians and the Gospel of St. Matthew, along with yeah. Psalm 76. So why don't you share these uh, scripture readings with us this evening? Okay, let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who loveth mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant in us also the fear of thy blessed commandments that trampling down all carnal desires we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginate Father, thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, both now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our first reading is from Psalm 76. If you're in a Protestant Bible, that's Psalm 77. We're on page 732 of your Orthodox Study Bible, and Psalm 76 is Christ teaching the importance of using the memory, especially in the day of affliction. For one is to remember God, the eternal years, and the Lord's works. Verse 5 through 21 describe the num numerous benefits of this remembrance. Verse 14, 15, 14b and 15a are sung as a refrain in Vespers at Pascha, Pentecost, and Nativity. Psalm 76. For the end, concerning Itzion, a psalm for Asaph. With my voice I cried to the Lord, with my voice to God, and he gave heed to me. In the days of my affliction I sought out God with my hands before him by night. Now I was not deceived. By, 
My soul refused to be comforted. I remember God and was glad. I complained and my spirit became discouraged. I stayed awake through all the watches of the night. I was troubled and did not speak. I thought of the days of old, and I remembered the eternal years, and I meditated. By night I communed with my heart, and my spirit searched. Will the Lord cast me off unto the ages, and will he be favorable no more? Or will he cut off his mercy completely from generation to generation? Or will God forget to be merciful? Or will he in his wrath withhold his mercies? I said, now I am beginning to see this change is by the right hand of the Most High. I remembered the Lord's works, for I remembered your, your wonders of old, and I will meditate on all your works. And I will consider your ways. O oh God, your way is in the holy place, who is so great a God as our God. You are the God who does not does wonders. You made known your power among the peoples. You redeemed your people with your arm, the son of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and were afraid, the, and the depths were troubled. A multitude like the sound of waters, the clouds uttered their voice, for your arrows passed through them. The voice of your thunder was in the wheel. Your light, your lightning gave light to the world. It was shaken, and the earth was made to tremble. Your way is in the sea, and your paths are in many waters, and your footsteps shall not be known. You led your people as sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. The word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our, second, our second reading is our epistle. Our epistle is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verses 6 through, six through 15, found on page 1,577 and 1,578 of your Orthodox Study Bible. And um, the note for 4-6, well, it's 4-7. The treasure is the light of God's glory in Christ. Earthen vessels refer to our humanity. As this light shines in and through us, People will see that the power of, is of God and not of man. The word of our Lord. For it is the God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the life of Christ may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that grace having spread through the many may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. The word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gospel tonight is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 to 15. Let us attend. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. 
The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have their gospel preached to them. Have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. As they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet, for this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. Assuredly, I say to you, among those born of women, there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. The word of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Now, let me see. Katarina Salas is with us. She's traveling this weekend, going up to Chicago. We pray for safe travels for her. Also traveling this weekend, uh, Debbie Owen and her family down to Virginia. We pray for safe travels for Catherine. And let me see. Oh, uh, what did I say here? Debbie Owens going up, don't going down to Virginia. Debbie Owens going down to Virginia with her family. We pray for uh, safe travels for her and her family. And Catherine Houston is going up to New York City and Connecticut to be with her family. Safe travels for Catherine. Amen. And let me see here. Helen Stevens. God bless and good evening, Steve, Kurt, Jonathan. Eric, Gary, Joe, Christina, Robin, Amy, Mother Elizabeth, and everyone else here. Christ has ascended from earth to heaven. Amen. Wilson Salviejo, good evening to you, Wilson. Anastasia is here, and uh, she says, uh, yes, he, has, he is returning soon to rule and to reign. Amen. Means our Lord. And Anastasia throws in also, this is the day our Lord Jesus Christ has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And uh, let me see here. Oh, Anastasia goes on. Can't wait. Can't wait. Come on, Lord Jesus. Come. I don't think he's coming soon, though. There's too much work to be done. We have too much work to be done for him to come soon. That's my opinion, though. He could come the next minute. Wouldn't that be glorious? Mm -hmm. And there is Ruthie Johnson from Kentucky. Good evening. Karen Kalanovich, good evening, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. Praying our time together is blessed, and our memorial weekend is blessed also. Thank you. Joanne Manaski out there in Phoenix. And Robin Armstrong. Good evening, friends from Pippin and I. Okay. And over here, Michael O'Brien, good evening to you, Michael. Elioni Shanera, good evening. Christ has ascended from earth to heaven. Good evening, Steve, Jonathan, Michael. Arthur and everyone, blessings in the Lord to you all. And yes, Arthur Bethea is with us this evening. A good evening to all and have a blessed night. You too are. Juliet, Juliet Sabonia from Boston, good evening to all of you, prayer family. Christ has ascended from earth to heaven. And there's my friend, Bernie Grand. Good evening, friends. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Okay, let me see here. All right, now. Well, we've said hello to everybody. And just double check over here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, we're on Fourth Kingdoms right now. Yes, we are. And uh, just to give you a little update here, 
Um, Elijah was the great prophet we've met already. And um, he was taken up into heaven. And he wished that uh, Elisha would replace him. And the Lord um, made uh, Elisha his prophet. And to uh, sort of put the stamp on uh, Elisha as a prophet, the Lord did uh, several miracles through Elisha. And uh, we've been reading about those miracles. And last night we read about uh, Naaman, who was the commander of the army of Syria. And uh, he had leprosy. And um, the Lord, through Elisha, healed him. And tonight we continue and finish that story anyway. And uh, so, uh, Jonathan, why don't you start us out, chapter 5, oh, verse, the second half of verse 19. Okay. Page 429. He departed from him but a short distance. Then Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, said, Behold, my master spared the Syrian Naaman, yet from his hand he received nothing of what he brought. But as the Lord lives, I will run after him and take some things of his. So Gehazi pursued Naaman. When Naaman saw him running after him, he turned from the chariots to meet him. And Gehazi said, Peace, <laughs> excuse me. Peace, my master sent me it, saying, Indeed, just now, two young men of the sons of the prophets came to me from the mountains of, of Ephraim. Give them a talent of silver and two changes of garments. Then Naaman said, Take two talents of silver. So Gehazi took two talents of silver and two bags with two changes of garments and handed them to the two of his servants. They left and carried them on, on ahead of him. As they entered into the darkness, he took them from their hands and stored them in the house. He then dismissed the men. Now he went in and stood before his master. And Elisha said to him, From whence have you come, Gehazi? And he said, Your servant did not go anywhere. Then Elisha said to him, Did not my heart go with you when the man turned back from his chariot to meet you? And now you receive the silver and the garments, and it shall happen that you shall receive from him gardens and olive groves, and vineyards and sheep and oxen, and men servants and handmaidens. And the leprosy of Naaman shall also cling to you and your seed forever. Then he went out from his pres presence leprous like snow. The word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. That, that'll, that'll teach you to steal. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, our little sister, uh, Nellie Cardvelli, has joined us. She says, good evening. Sorry for being late. That's okay, Nellie. You're here. That's what counts. You're here. So we've said hello to everybody. We've done all our scripture readings. I guess we got to pray now, don't we? Do it. Let's Praise do it. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody's waiting for for this moment. This is <laughs> this is our this is our our highlight of the, of the day here. So in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from the evil one. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day has come to a close, I thank you. And I ask that the evening with the night may be sinless. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now that the day has passed, I glorify thee, O Master, and I ask that the evening with the night may be without offense. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me, both now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day has run its course, I praise thee, O Holy One, and I ask that the evening with the night may be undisturbed. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Lord, have mercy. 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 O Lord, our God, if during this day I have sinned, whether in word or deed or thought, forgive me all, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Grant me peaceful and undisturbed sleep, and deliver me from all influence and temptation of the evil one. Raise me up again in proper time, that I may glorify thee. For thou art blessed with thine only begotten Son, thine all Holy Spirit, both now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father, for all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made of one essence of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Thou who at all times and at every hour, both on heaven and earth, are worshipped and glorified. O Christ God, long-suffering, plenteous in mercy and compassion, who lovest the just and shows mercy upon the sinners, who calls all men to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Do thou the same, Lord, receive our supplications at this present hour, and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all calamity, wrath, and distress. Compass us round about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by their host, we may attain unto the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Would you give the blessings, Steve? Please? Yes. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Thank you so much, Jonathan. You're welcome. Have a good night. Well, I hope you get all your computer problems straightened that, out. It, 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 I'll be up and running in no time. So. I've heard that story before. <laughs> okay. Well, God bless you, and uh, have a good night, everyone. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, folks, this is when we uh, we pray for each other. So, Lord, we ask that you remember and that you have mercy on all those we're about to pray for, granting them healings, health, and your peace. We pray for that. And, Lord, we pray for our sister, Dottie Thomas. We pray that you have mercy on her soul. We pray for her son, Ben. We pray for her granddaughter, Sarah, and her daughter, Jennifer. We pray for our brother, Ed Namoff, who's having a, a heart monitor in place for the next couple of weeks. And we pray, dear Lord, that it narrows down and takes care of his heart problems. We pray for that. And we pray, Lord, for his wife, Diana. A lot of pain, Lord. We pray that you relieve her pain. And we pray for 
uh, Dmitry Boskovsky for his health. We pray for Mary Saad. We pray for Mary Saad and her children and her mother. Her mother's refusing to take uh, her medications, Lord. And we pray that uh, you, uh, you send her the Holy Spirit to help her in making a good decision. We pray for that. Well, Lord, we also pray for Mary's uh, sister for her health. We, we pray for Leah for healing. And we pray for Andy that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for our sister Katerina at Salas and her mother Anna. We pray, dear Lord, that you uh, give them good health and healings. We pray, Lord, we pray, dear Lord, that you give them both strength and uh, your and heavenly guidance. We pray for that. Now, Lord, Katerina is going to be traveling this weekend up to Chicago. And Lord, we pray for safe travels for her and her family. Amen. Lord, we pray for our brother Anestis Nick up there in Wisconsin. He has cancer, Lord, and we pray that you heal him. And we pray that uh, the side effects of his chemotherapy are not too severe. Lord, we pray for the Sabunia family, Juliet and Alexander and their children over there in Boston, Massachusetts. We pray to your Lord that you keep that family safe and healthy. We pray for them. We pray for Ken and Nancy Klein out there in Homer, Alaska. Lord, we pray for them. We pray to your Lord that... Uh, you keep them both healthy and safe and give them your healings. They both need it. And uh, there's family problems there, Lord, so we pray that you bring your peace to that family as well. And, Lord, we pray for um, Ken and Nancy's children, Lydia and Darius and Aaron. We pray for them, Lord, um, for their health and that they come closer in faith to you. Now, Lord, we pray for our sister, Anna Gennaro, out there in Coopville, Washington, and also in Coopville, we're praying for Anna's daughter, uh, Melissa, Melissa's husband, Daniel. We pray that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for Melissa and uh, Daniel's two children. We pray for this family, healthy and strong. Amen. And we pray for Anna's brother, Joseph. We pray for the health of Catherine. And we pray for Vivian and Philip. And we thank you, Lord. They're both in remission from cancer. And Lord, we have a special request this evening, Lord. We pray for Stephanie. Stephanie suffers from cancer pretty badly, Lord. And we pray for a miracle healing for Stephanie. Amen. Well, Lord, we also pray for our brother Joseph, Joseph Barbera for his health. And we pray for his uh, sister and brother-in-law, Janice and Jean, and his brother Bud, who has fallen asleep. We pray that you have mercy on him. And we pray for Bud's wife, Loretta, for her health. We pray for our brother David Fox over there in Yorkshire, uh, England, Lord. We pray for David. We pray for David's wife. We pray for uh, David's wife's cousins, Vina and Rosie. Vina is just coming out of surgery, Lord. Just had it the other day. And we pray for full recovery for her. And we pray for Rosie, who has fallen asleep. We pray that you have mercy on her soul. Now, David also asked to pray for his friend Daniel for healing. We pray for uh, the health of Damien and his wife. We pray for David's Aunt Sylvia for health and healings, and we pray for Patty for good health. She's recovering from that stroke. Lord, we pray for our brother, uh, Wilson Salviejo, out there in British Columbia, Canada. We pray for him, for his health. We pray for success in his studies and his work. We pray for that. We pray for his brother, Donald, for his nephews, Ken and Kyer, for his sister-in-law, Rochelle, for his Aunt Rose, and for his mother's longtime caregiver, Stella, Lord, we pray that you protect them from all harm, sickness, and disease. Now, Wilson also asked to pray for Kathleen, who has fallen asleep due to cancer, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that you have mercy on her soul. Amen. And we pray for Wilson's mother, Gregoria, also fallen asleep, Lord. We pray for her, that you have mercy on her, and that she is enjoying eternal life with you. Lord, we pray for our brother, Nick Salvador. We pray for him, his health. We pray, he has asked us to pray for Debbie, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of Francisco and Judy. We pray for uh, Nick's mother and his two brothers. We pray for their health, and we also pray for the health of Murray and Macy. Now, Nick also asked to pray for Luke, for success in his studies at seminary. We pray for the health of Michael. We pray for healings for Isaac, Susan, Dugan, and Minor. We pray that you heal them, Lord. Amen. Well, Lord J. Russell asks to pray for little Jackson that he remains cancer-free and has a full recovery from that recent surgery he had. 
We also pray for Elijah and Collier, two small boys suffering from cancer. Lord, we pray for Alione Shanera. We pray for her husband and their children. We pray for them, Lord. Keep them healthy and strong. Alione is asked to pray for little Izzy at church, St. Michael's in uh, Louisville. Well, Lord, we pray for Izzy. She suffers from uh, stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. We pray for healing for her. We pray for a healing for little Kalen, an infant who has already has had open heart surgery and they found something wrong with their lungs. So we pray, dear Lord, that you would heal her. And we pray for Reg, who had that heart attack, Lord. We pray that you heal him. Amen. And strengthen his heart. Well, Lord, we pray for Deborah Goodall. We pray for her, Lord. We pray for her children and her grandchildren, all 11 of them. And we pray for Deborah's, uh, Deborah's friend, Kristen, who you healed from thyroid cancer. Now we pray that she remains cancer-free. And Deborah has a loved one who suffers from an addiction. We pray that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him, guide him, strengthen him in his uh, struggle. Lord, we pray for Mother Elizabeth. We pray for her ministry, her health, her family, and all of those that she is praying for. We pray for the health of uh, Connie Devados, and we pray for a healing for her family. Now, Lord, uh, we pray for her children, her grandchildren, and uh, that they all return in faith to you through the Orthodox Church, that they come to worship you as one big family. That would be wonderful. We pray for that. Now, Connie also asked to pray for uh, the health and a healing for Evangelina. We pray for the health of Jeff, Kathy, Jeannie, Maria, and Nancy. And Lord, we pray for a healing for little Enrique, seven-year-old little boy. We pray for our sister Nellie Cartvelli down in New York City. Good evening, Nellie. Well, Lord, we pray for Nellie. We pray for her health. We pray that her recent surgery has improved her eyesight. We pray for that. We pray for that, Lord. And uh, we pray for her friend Cotney over in Germany for his health. And we pray for Georgie and Lavani. They both suffer from brain cancer. We pray for our sister Oana, her daughter Maria, and that whole family, Lord. We pray for their health, that you protect them and give them your peace. Now, Lord, our sister Marcia. Marcia Kreis, uh, who has fallen asleep. We pray that you have mercy on her, Lord. And she has asked us to pray for her family. So we pray for her daughters, Rachel and Angela, her son, Evan, Evan's wife, Mila, and Marcia's husband, Wayne. We pray for this family. And Marcia also asked to pray for Paul, Steve, Rick, TJ, and Chris. They all have suffered from cancer or are suffering from cancer. And we pray that you make them cancer free. Alione Shanera asked to pray for Tatiana and Abel. We pray that you make them cancer free. Lord, we pray for John, Mark, and Lauren for their health and that they come closer in faith to you. We pray for the health of Nicole. And Lord, we pray for Joanne suffering from cancer. That's uh, Alione's niece, Lord. We pray that you heal her. And we pray for Michael. We pray for his health. And we pray for John, Stephanie, and Carol. Now, Lord, we also pray for Kim and Lindsay, two women suffering from heart disease. We pray that you heal and strengthen their hearts. We also pray for Lindsay's husband, William, for his health. We pray for a healing for Tim from cancer. And uh, we pray for Tim's wife, who you healed at Maryland, who you healed from cancer, Lord. And now we pray that she remains cancer-free. Well, Lord, Kurt Lytle asks us to pray for the health of Holly, Paul Gilbert, Jason Phillips, and Courier Terry Rogers, Sherry Jackson, Michael Diamond, Bruce Mahan, and Albert Brassard. Lord, we pray for health and healings for each of these. And we pray for Barb Kaiser, suffering from cancer and uh, seems to be on the road to recovery. So, Lord, we pray for a full recovery for Barbara Kaiser. And, Lord, we thank you for healing John Abbas from his cancer. We pray that he remains cancer-free. Lord, we pray for Deacon Michael Hyatt. He had that heart attack, so we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for Mark Myers, his health. We pray for Michael Stahl, suffering from cancer, and Sam Falvo, who had that stroke, but he's recovering nicely, I hear, so we thank you for that. Now, Kurt also asked to pray for Betty Bear, that she remains cancer-free. And uh, we also pray for Kurt's daughters, Kristen, Rachel, and Nicole. We pray for them. We pray for Kristen's husband, Brandon, as well. We pray for these young people, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep them healthy and safe. Protect them 
And Lord, we pray that they grow in faith in you. Now, Lord, we pray for our brother, Kurt Lytle. We pray that you keep him healthy, keep him safe, and we pray for success for his business. Now, Kurt also asked to pray for the health of Katie and Jim Parsons, Father Benedict, and the monks of the Holy Cross Monastery. We pray for our brother, Robert Ryan, for healing for him, and we pray for all of those who suffer from thoughts of loneliness and anxiety. We pray for all of them, Lord. Amen. Have mercy. And Lord, we pray for our sister, uh, Ruthie Johnson. We pray for her health. We pray that uh, she remains cancer-free. You healed her of kidney cancer, Lord. Thank you. Now we pray for her family. We pray for her children, Amy, Katie, John, Michael, and Philip. We pray for those children, Lord. We pray that they remain healthy. We pray that you protect them. And we pray that they grow in faith in you. We pray for Katie's husband, Andy. And we pray for Katie and Andy's two children. Now, Lord, we also pray especially for Philip. We pray, dear Lord, that you send Philip, the Holy Spirit, to help him and guide him in making good decisions in his life. We pray for that. We also pray for Ruthie's husband, Phil. And, Lord, we pray uh, for Ruthie's brother, Danny. And we pray for her niece, Tricia, and her family, Matthew and Kevin. And we pray for uh, Ruthie's sister, Patsy, and her husband. Um, Patsy's husband suffers from Alzheimer's, Lord. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you ease the road that they're on. Make it smoother. We pray for that. Well, Lord, Karen Valentes is asked to pray for her family. And we pray, dear Lord, that you keep that family healthy and safe. And if they have any... Uh, any struggles along the way, we trust that you will help them. Now, Karen also asked to pray for Pen the Pentelis, Tabus, Leontoritas, Zagrianos, Caminos, Verderos, and Levanos families. We pray for them. We pray for Father Dimitri Nicolodakis, Father Dimitri Constantine, Father Joe Di Stefano, Father Daniel Rohan, Father Steve Dinas, Father Daniel Biantoro, and uh, Father John. Lord, we pray for these priests, for their ministries, for their health and their families as well. And we pray that Father John has a full recovery from that stroke he suffered. Now, Lord, we also pray for the parish of uh, Karen, uh, St. Demetrios in Warren, Ohio. We also pray for St. George's in Maslin, Ohio, St. Nicholas Parish in Youngstown, Ohio, Archangel Michael Parish in Campbell, Ohio, St. John the Forerunner Parish in Youngstown, Ohio, and Holy Assumption Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. And Lord, we also pray for Prophet Elias Parish in uh, Santa Cruz, California. That's Karen Karlanovich's parish. We pray for the Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio, Doug and Claudia DeRose Parish. We pray for All Saints of America Parish in Homer, Alaska. And that's uh, Ken and Nancy's uh, parish. And uh, Father Andrew is the priest out there, so we pray for this parish and Father Andrew. We also pray for St. George's uh, Parish in Flint, Michigan. And we pray for Susan Shaheen's home parish, Saints Peter and Paul in Glenview, Illinois. Now, Lord, we can't forget uh, our friend Arthur Bethea. He has asked us to pray for his parish, St. Nicholas Parish in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And their priest is Father Andrew as well. So, Lord, we pray for all of these parishes and priests. Lord, we pray that... Uh, they thrive and they grow and they flourish and continue to do your work. For this we pray, amen. Now, Lord, we also pray for our sister, Christina Hunter, over there in Memphis, Tennessee. We pray for her, Lord, and her three children, keep them healthy and safe. We pray for the uh, success for Christina's business and we pray, Lord, for her parents, Tamara and Doranel. They're over in Romania. So, Lord, we do pray for their health but we also pray for their safety. Things are getting crazy over in the Eastern Europe, Lord. So we pray for Tamara and Dornell for their safety. And we pray for peace in that region as well. Now, Lord, we also pray for Christina's friend, Julie. Uh, we pray for her health. And we pray for uh, Basile Johnson for healing. And we pray for the health and, uh, of, and for wisdom for Marcus. We pray for that. And we pray for uh, Patricia and her family. Patricia's losing her memory. And that's another tough road for the whole family, Lord. So we pray that you have mercy on that family. 
Amen. Now let's go around and see if there's any other prayer requests. Helen Stevens, pray for me and my husband, Mark, and my children and grandchildren. You betcha. Lord, we pray for Helen's family. We pray for her, her husband, Mark, and their children and grandchildren, Lord. We pray that you, we pray that you grant them protection, health, and your peace. We pray for that. Amen. Karen Kalanovich, please remember Omid in prayer. He is married to my niece, Holly, and is going through a lot of red tape to come to her from Turkey. He is originally from Iran, and because he became a Christian and they aren't welcome in his home country, he possibly would be martyred if he returned. He wants to come to America, especially since he married my niece five years ago in Turkey. So, Lord, we pray for Omid. We pray for him, Lord, that you make his path a little smoother, that he can gain entry into the United States. We pray for that. And, Lord, we pray, we pray, dear Lord, and, and we cry, we weep, Lord, for the uh, persecution that he and so many others are going through in that part of the world. So we pray for him and all of those suffering. Amen. And Trefim Wassily, Sr., pray for me and all my family and grandchildren and great-grandson and elders. Lord, we pray for Trefim's, Trefim's family, all his children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Lord, we pray for that whole family. Pray for peace, your protection, your health. Amen. And Ruthie asked for extra prayers for Philip. So we, 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 extra prayers is easy. Lord, we pray for Philip once again. That's Ruthie Johnson's son, Lord. We pray that you help him. We pray that you have mercy on him. We pray, dear Lord, that you give him your peace. We pray that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him, and guide him, and strengthen him in his struggle, and to help him to make good decisions in his life. Lord, for this we pray. Amen. And Trefim. Go back up here for a second. There we go. Trefim, it's good to see you. We're here every night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. and every morning at 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time again in the United States. For morning prayers in the morning and in the evening, the Gospel Minute Live. So, you're welcome to join us. Glad to have you with us. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, nothing there. Back to here. I feel like a ping pong ball sometimes. And Helen Stevens, prayers for you, Steve, and Sharon. Hey, thank you so much. Lord, hear Helen's prayer. Well, Lord... We ask that you remember and have mercy on all those that we have prayed for this evening. We pray that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Lord, we ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And Lord, we pray to your mother, the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our intentions and her prayers when she prays. And we pray that our saints of the day, Carpus and Alphaeus, Apostles of the Seventy, Lord, we pray that they remember us in our prayer intentions and their prayers. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, we ask, dear Lord, that you visit and heal your servants, all those that we have prayed for this evening, those that we have forgotten or missed or omitted. Please, Lord, visit and heal them. And uh, we ask that you uh, release them, grant them release from pain, and restore them to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you, and bless your holy name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Morning prayers at 8 a.m. And after morning prayers, I'm right off to church. We have our food uh, food pantry tomorrow. So, busy day for me tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, so, until then, there are three things you need to remember. Yep, three. We've gone from two to three now. <laughs> One, God loves you, and he really, really, really does. Two, we love one another, and we really, really, really do. And three, Christ has ascended from earth to heaven. Amen. See you tomorrow, folks, and may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good night. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh.